All right, we're back. We're back. Wow. It just took me four times to get this set up for some reason. I don't know. Usually it's just, I usually just come plug and play. And I was having some issues this morning. It is 8.18. So August 18th, it is 8.04. I started trying to record this when I first set the time. It was 7.50. It took me 14 minutes to figure this out. Hey, it is, it is, um, episode 31, episode 31, 100 simple life truths. We are most definitely here to find out something about ourselves today. And yeah, I had an opening monologue, but I lost it within these, within these last couple minutes trying to figure out this audio. This is crazy. Um, I'm up early, but I'm also up late because I went to sleep late and I wanted to wake up earlier. I wanted to wake up at like six. So I'm two hours behind. I got a bunch of things I got to do today. I'm waiting for a package, which is going to hinder me a lot because it's not even out for delivery yet. And I need to, I need to do something very important today with the package that's coming today. And this is the only day I can do it. So it's, it's going to hinder me a little bit. Um, yesterday, I think I dropped three episodes, which is crazy. It's crazy. I might only drop two today. No, yesterday, I think I dropped two. One is actually rendering right now. No, I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm so absent-minded right now. Frustrated at the fact that I tried to record this and my audio was not working at all. So, uh, I'm going to just get into it. Y'all know, y'all already know to keep things, stay consistent, love yourself, treat yourself how you want to be treated, and uh, stay consistent, and don't let nobody outwork you. So, this one is called... Is it ignorance or empathy? Apathy, empathy. I can't say, I can't pronounce that word for some reason. I don't know how that word is pronounced. Let me look it up. Hold on. Hold on, people. I'm about to do something because I'm ignorant. Let's see. Apathy. Apathy. It's pronounced apathy. I thought it was pronounced empathy. I don't know why. There's no M in there. <laughs> apathy. Okay. Is it ignorance or apathy? I guess I'm ignorant on the word apathy. For those who may not know the difference, ignorance, I don't know. Apathy, I don't care. Hmm. When people discuss events like hate crimes, the word ignorance comes, gets thrown around. That's this assumption that if people were only educated a bit more in the difference of others, these unfortunate events wouldn't happen anymore. Once in the Bronx, a little boy walked up to me and said, Assalamu alaikum. He didn't have educate. He didn't have the education and realized I wasn't is of Islamic heritage, but the ignorance is irrelevant in light of the fact that the boy was showing me love. This boy was simply looking for a way to connect. That's a dope story. Education is a value of those who want to learn and expand their minds. That's where apathy. That's where apathy is the culprit. The issue isn't that people don't know; is that they don't care to know. When the media has already demonized and sensationalized a group of people, the vast majority of the population will accept that fate, accept that at, at um, face value. There isn't critical thinking or there isn't what there isn't critical thinking or discourse, nor is there a desire for it. I have little faith that an awareness program is going to change the minds of someone looking to dish out their own justice for those who are different. There are a lot to gain from people in positions of power where their population is in constant state of fear. For those who are concerned, the others, for those who are concerned, the other consider the others, that simply means we have to respect the landscape we're in and be prepared accordingly. That's sad. That's sad. I don't think um, people should live in fear at all. And I do think that people should be more open to understanding other people's culture. There shouldn't be hate crimes. Like, I don't care which way it goes. If it goes towards, like, uh, race, uh, religion, sexuality, whatever, I don't believe in there should be hate crimes at all. I don't think you should dislike a, a person just based on things that they can't control necessarily. Some of those things, well... Yeah, things they can't control. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just leave it at that. Y'all can decipher it however y'all want to decipher it. But 
yeah, I don't I don't agree with like hate crimes. Uh, hatred, racism, sexism, war, violence, and all the other ugly acts and judgments are useful tools to keep people in order. And for that simple fact, we will continue to exist. The, the mass population that is more concerned with themselves rather than others is what guarantees this. If we continue to see us and them, there will be us and them, even when we stop others may not recognize and respect that fact this world is what we make it and i'm extremely impressed and proud of how uh it's a indian name but it ends with sing it starts with p and i know it's at sing so i'm gonna just say professor sing a professor who was recently attacked in harlem responded to his experience honestly i can't come up with a better response than simply gratitude i'm thankful for a few reasons if I had been attacked by any, by any, by attack, if, whew, if I had attacked me any more violently, I may not be awake right now to tell a story. If they had attacked me even half an hour earlier, they would have harmed my wife and one of, and my one year old son. And if they had attacked me anywhere else, I may not have had bystanders there to save me. So he did the key thing that I've been talking about this whole series is. He took the positive out of the negative and he just harps on it. It's a negative situation. He got attacked for, I guess, his religion. He's a um he's a Indian professor. You know, he probably had a he's probably uh he probably is, is Islamic, right? And whatever. Cool. People attacked him because they don't like they attacked him based on his appearance. And Instead of being so hateful about it and wanting, wanting revenge, he probably still does want revenge deep down inside. But instead of shining that shining light on on the negative, like outwardly, he keeps the negative inside and he, he outwardly expresses the fact that he's grateful that he wasn't attacked an hour earlier because he was with his wife and his kid. And he's he's happy that they didn't attack him any more violently because he probably would have been dead. And he's happy that where he got attacked, it was people around that could be there to help him. So this is this is a this is a good example of staying positive in negative situations because it's a very negative situation to just be violently attacked out of nowhere is can never be a good thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty much sums up a lot of things that I've been talking about lately. So the last part, this is a short one. The last part says we can't control ignorance or apathy of others, but we can recognize it in ourselves. Let's start there. So, yeah, take a step back when you feel like you're um, judging someone and you don't really know or judging a situation and you don't really know. Just just um, take a step back. Oh, I've, I've been preaching that a lot here too. like just. Always just take a step back. Just take a step back and take your time to understand what's going on. It's have have a uh, I don't want to say out of body experience, but yeah, just gotta remove yourself, have a out of body experience, and that's it. Have an out of body experience and see how you're reacting to certain things, and be willing to learn. That's the that's the major key. Is everything everything is a is a learning experience. Every single day is a learning experience. Listening to this is a learning experience. You should. This is why my um thing is. Let's see if we can learn something about ourselves today. And you don't necessarily have to learn something about yourself. You can learn something about the world and how other people work, how other people's minds work, how the universe works. Basically, you can't control other people's ignorance. You can't control other people's apathy, but you can control yours. So start there and figure out the other stuff later. Always self-work is the best work. So work on yourself. Figure out your biases and, and figure out a way to let them go. Figure out a way. is And sometimes it's as simple as just having a conversation with somebody. And having a conversation with somebody that you don't like is, is, is going to show you more of yourself. Because you might go into that conversation not liking someone. And they don't have any feelings towards you at all. Dislike or like the same. And you go there, you go there so hostile, like, oh, I don't like you. This is the reasons why. 
and they'll just explain to you, you know, okay, you know, this is me. I don't have any feelings towards you, so um, it is what it is. And then you're just gonna be sitting there looking retarded because you hate somebody that don't even know who you are, doesn't even think about you, has their own life going on. We all have our own lives going on. So don't be ignorant to other people's feelings and lives, situations, and have some, but I wouldn't say have some empathy, apathy, but try to learn, try to learn. There should be no hate crimes, man, because just the same as you hate somebody, somebody hates you. And would you want them to take out their hatred the same way you take out your hatred? No. No, you want to be able to go home or you want to be able to go outside Live your life and be able to come home safe, just the same as everybody else in this world. So don't be ignorant. Don't be ignorant. Go learn. Go learn. Um, yeah, that's it. That's episode 31. That's episode 31. Another step closer to 100. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's um, 8.15 in the morning. I got a lot of things to do today. A lot, a lot, a lot. It's a Sunday. It's a nice, beautiful Sunday. Hopefully, it doesn't rain because I do want to step outside. Hopefully. Other than that, I hope you have a good day. A glorious Sunday. If you're listening to this today, because I'm going to post it today. Not sure exactly when, but I am going to post it today. I hope you guys are having a good, good Sunday. Hope you guys are having a good life overall, man. Just have a good life overall. Down in, down in the um, comment section below, if you made it this far... Write down one of your um ignorance. What are you ignorant about that you wish you could learn more? It doesn't have to be a certain religion or a group of people. It could be you're ignorant in marine biology <laughs> and you want to learn more. You have a, a bias towards marine biologists because you don't really know what they do. So, yeah. In the comments, what are you ignorant about and what do you want to learn more about? Which, you know, might not be the same, but. You might be ignorant about one thing and not really care to learn more about it, but you might know something but want to learn more about it. So that's your homework. That's the assignment of the day. So peace. Y'all be safe out there.